I'm Ashley. And I'm Jackie. Welcome back to Dumb Witch Club. It's amazing how I just like snapped into that. Oh, you should have seen her a minute ago. <laughs> she was a mess. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. There, I told you there's going to be weird vibes. This is a weird episode. This is a what the cusp. <laughs> Aries Taurus cusp. I don't know. I feel awkward about it. I feel awkward about it. It's like a weird... I don't know if I like it. I don't either. And it's like a weird time. Things are weird. It's a weird time. Things are weird. Also, like, this crystal Hmm. is, like, moving right now. It's, like, shaking. Of course it is. And, like, all the animals started to just vocalize at Mm -hmm. the minute that we did. Mm -hmm. Just everything is just teeming with you i really hate that word can i I was like why did you say that word you know what it makes anytime i say that (laughs) no okay okay but i'm gonna say it's not gonna be too bad because you're very familiar with this it reminds me of no it's not you're very familiar with this it reminds me of that scene in the craft i don't have to go further you know no well okay and that's not the worst reference you could make at all but that's that's what pops into my head okay that's not what pops into my head but that's good good. it's better replace it replace it yes replace it place it place it it. immediately needs to be replaced just made up a whole thing no that was good it's a good strategy too Mm -hmm. so yes we're not really here we're not really here We are, though. We are here. We're and here. actually, we're really happy and excited to be here yeah. because we are in, like, a mood, and it's fun, and yeah. it's funny. Yeah. 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 We, we were... just completely contradicted ourselves. I right know. There. We were like, ew, I hate this. Why are we here? And now we're like, actually, we love no, no, no. it. <laughs> because, no, we're not contradicting, and this is why we're not contradicting. Okay. It's why. because we are in a good mood. We are happy to be here. This subject is what we're, like, mm, mm, about. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So it's not about us. No, it's not about us. We are wonderful. Yeah, this is fun. We're wonderful today. We are. Today's yes. a good day. It's just leading into a lot of good times. <sighs> today is a good day. Last weekend was really nice. Yeah. This week went by fast. Did. Today is very nice. Tomorrow we have a special day planned. Yeah, very we have excited. a fun day. Yeah, we do. a lot of, like... Just crap is going on, but I like, I'm just mm-hmm. like, dodge, dodge, deflect. Okay, deflect. but like, this is literally what we were talking about in the last episode. Yeah, we were. About how the outer planets are having all kinds of like, yeah, moving and, um, yeah, yeah. you know, transits and just mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. And then the inner planets are in these lovely spaces. Yes. And I don't know, I feel like I'm just like, mm-hmm. I don't care what's happening out there. No, I don't care. Like, way out there. Don't care. Yeah, don't care. I don't care what's happening in Washington, D.C. I don't care. I can't care. I mean, I... Of course. Care, care on a humanitarian level. Yes, and we recognize... Don't come for us, okay? We recognize, like, the privilege of not having to engage. I do caring. engage, though. But we do. But That's we do. the problem. The point is that we I do. I do frequently yes, engage. and so just know that when we're talking about it in this space, that means in this space and in these things. Yes. So and in this moment, I'm like, yeah. I don't care. Don't add us about that because no. I just don't need it. Exactly. I'll deflect it. No, oh, that's right. I'm in that mode. Yeah. You know why? <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me why because we need to know. Ooh, why though? Why okay. Though? So like we were saying last week actually also, yeah. there's not a ton going on in no. the skies, which is great because a lot is coming up at the mm-hmm. end or mid end of this month of April. So yeah. What's coming up, which we're not talking about all the way today, but a sure. little sneak preview. Mm-hmm. Eclipse Madness oh, it's is coming. on the way. It's eclipse season coming up. It's going to be actually coming early this year. Um, April 19th is going to set off the whole thing. April 19th, 20th, and 21st, there are very significant things happening over those three days. So we will get to those. Get for ready. now, mm-hmm. yes, so get ready, but... <clears throat> For now, we don't need to like totally worry about it yet. No. So what's happening right now is Mercury is having a very busy week, mm-hmm. a very busy time. Mm-hmm. Mercury has just gone into Taurus, mm-hmm. which um, you know, Mercury and Taurus is about common sense, very grounded. Yeah. Um, sometimes it can be about like relying on your old ways that you're comfortable with. Mm, that makes Earth sense. kind of energy. Sure. Um, Mercury has an interesting little um, transit coming up here. There's going to be a retrograde. Mm-hmm. Mercury yep. enters its shadow on April 8th. 
actually goes into retrograde on April 21st, part of that little package that's coming up that I was mentioning. Yeah. Um, the entire retrograde is in the sign of Taurus. Oh, wow. And then it goes back direct still in Taurus. So mm-hmm. it's in Taurus all the way until like mid-June. Oh, that's so interesting. So it's a long time of Mercury being in Taurus. All of Mercury's retrogrades this year mm-hmm. are in Earth signs. Oh, that's also very interesting. And they are contained within the Earth sign. So oh, it's really yeah. interesting. So I think what this means mm-hmm. is... Um, there is going to be a lot of sort of emphasis on common sense and yeah. maybe tradition and the old ways. Mm-hmm. There's also going to be a lot of really grounded yeah. kind of energy and thought that's being communicated. Yeah. Uh, Mercury is also bouncing all around mm-hmm. and having um, alignments with, there's a square Pluto, mm-hmm. there's a sextile Saturn, mm-hmm. there's a sextile Mars. Um there's even more. Yep. Yeah. Like lighting up all these planets. Yes. So Mercury <laughs> is going around to all of these planets and <laughs> talking mm-hmm. and spreading information and getting information and maybe communicating it clearly and maybe not. Mm-hmm. Mercury's all over the place, very fast, very busy. Wow, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot. Maybe that is why that we're feeling like the ugh, don't need it, ugh, don't need it. Because it's very, I feel like that's very earth sign energy of like, yes. they, that's a lot. And I'm going to take like what I need from that. But everything I don't, goodbye. Like not <clears throat> dealing with it. Exactly. And I think mm-hmm. when we think about earth, and earth can be very mm-hmm. varied. There's lots of kinds of earth energy. Um, mm-hmm. But I think what we're looking at here is this kind of like, like, like granite, you know? Yes. Like you are not getting in here. Like this is it. This is me, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Good. You just focus on... How I'm processing this and... Yes. Oh, I love that. That's that's nice. That's actually nice. That's what I'm bringing to all of this, too. I also want to say um, Venus mm-hmm. is still in Taurus. Right. Shortly, we'll be going into Gemini on yeah. April 11th. So until then, it's just lovely. You know, Venus loves being in Taurus. And yeah. with Mercury um, also going to Taurus, I feel like they're having... You know, they're having a little chit-chat back and forth because nice. they're in the same sign. And so, you know, that's kind of a little nice thing that's mm-hmm. coming around there. But, um, okay. yeah, so this week, I mean, obviously, there's always other things. Like, the more mm-hmm. of the outward as- asteroids you get into, there's always stuff around, like Chiron and Vesta. But we're sure. not talking about all that. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, sort of on the interior planets, not a ton. Mercury's being a little wild man out there. That's um, okay. We can handle, handle that. Chatting. And it's fine because... Mm-hmm. He's in Taurus right now. I'm like, get out of here. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> we handle the Mercury stuff all the time. Yes. So it's fine. And we handle Taurus energy all the time. Oh, God. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Which we're going to be doing more of today. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. So that's our why, though. And I don't think it Good. sheds light onto why we're in a wacky mood. But no, there's not really a lot of wacky energy. No. No. There's like very little Earth, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, air energy right now. There's very little of that kind of. So I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, there isn't. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. We'll embrace it because it's a nice respite. Yes. Well, exactly. And I think, oh, also just one more thing to notice. The void, mm-hmm. the moon void, of course, periods mm-hmm. are really long at okay. this time of year going into eclipse season. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of like that downtime, yeah. a lot of that kind of, you know, mm-hmm. inactive kind of, mm-hmm. you know, collect yourself and rest. Good. So. We probably need that. Yeah. yeah we obviously. We need that. I love that. Obviously. I love that too. Thank so anyway, you. that's... That's our little why, though, and a little sneak peek of future why, those because we're, we're going to need to know. Yeah, we're, that, that's going to come, and, you know. Oh, yeah. It's going to be wild, so we will talk about all of that. We'll help you. Yes. When we get there. Okay. I also just want to say, I feel like I'm talking so much, but I Do also it. just want to say, all of these things that I mentioned that are happening, like mm-hmm. April 19th, 20th, 21st, there's several important things all on those same days. Mm-hmm. Those are the beginning dates of the aries Taurus cusp period. Ooh. And that's what we're talking about in this episode. Yes, it is. So there's just a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. But enjoy this part now. Yes, we're not there yet. Not there yet. We had such a nice full moon. And we all did. That lovely, beautiful energy. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice, like, relationship y aspects right around now ish. Yes. That have felt really good. I think we are participating in that. We are part- that's taking of that. Yeah. We really are partaking of that. That's likely what's going on then. Mm. Duh. I know. Hey, we figured it out. We figured it out. We're like, it means nothing. We don't know. We it only like, took oh, wait. <laughs> 15 minutes of <laughs> intense conversation. We yeah. figured it out. We figured it out. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely where Venus is placed right now. And her aspects, I think, to 
Neptune. Yes, I yep. know. All that deep watery Mm -hmm. that beauty that vision that like we need to take i know we're both like i know we're like doing this we always do that when we talk about i know when we talk about yes no or (laughs) yeah yeah, venus even sometimes i I know yes we're like embodying the energy as always i love that but no i think you're totally right yeah that's probably what that is yes yeah good we're gonna hold on to that yes we're gonna hold on for dear life to whatever we can that's right and then eventually we will be glad that we did. <laughs> and then we'll be holding on like this. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. okay. It's okay. We can do it. All right. Let's bring that energy into our what the cusp conversation. Oh, yes. What <laughs> the cusp actually. Okay. <laughs> what so, the cusp. Yeah. I just feel, well, I mean, we already alluded. Um, yeah. I, I, I feel so awkward about this cusp. Yeah, I feel awkward about this cusp. Okay, so I guess we should say okay. before we, you know, dive into that. Um, in case you haven't seen the other What the Cusp episode, which you should watch because it's <laughs> amazing. And watch it if only to contrast with what we're saying yeah. right now about yeah. this cusp. You should. It's really good. You're going to be like, mm, is this the same thing? Yeah. It is, but it's not. Um, but what is the same is remember, okay, when we're talking about cusp energy, you are in the sign that you, the sun was in when you were born. It's not like you're 50, 50. We're not saying that. Okay. Right. It's just, it's a blend. You're flavored a little bit with either sign because you're so close to it and it's going to reflect in your birth chart in the closer planets. And so that is what we're saying about cusps. And mm-hmm. if you have a problem with it and you don't like it, well, I don't know what to tell you. But that's the facts. Yeah. Take that elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> that's the facts. Just accept it. Yes. No, but I think the really the takeaway is y- your sun is in one sign. It is. Or the planet, whatever, is in one sign. We're aware of this. But energy is not black and white. It no. is not off and on like a light switch. No. It is transitioning and shifting. And so when you get these kind of overlap periods, mm-hmm. and that's what cusps are. Yes. Get a little, little spice from each one exactly and it can really vary um within those overlapping totally um characteristics yeah too. and if you really look at it you'll see that so <clears throat> yes definitely yeah so just our little psa about that and on we go okay no okay <laughs> <laughs> so well what we are working with today <laughs> Is Aries Taurus cusp, as we have said. Yeah. So sort of the the general time period for that is gonna be a few days before um the sun goes into Taurus and then right. a few days after that. So it's we're kind of looking at approximately April 19th through the 24th. So sort of that, you yeah. know, week or that five or six day period, depending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if your birthday is within that period or you yes. know somebody's birthday within that period, this is who we're talking about. Yes. And I'm like, in that case. <laughs> you have my sympathy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It's rough. Okay, so why are we saying this? Why are we feeling? Yeah, they're like, about can it? you get to the point? I know this? they're like just opinions, opinions. Like, can you please tell us what you're talking about? Yeah, um, so, what we have are, always on cusps are mm-hmm. conflicting elements and energies that are mm-hmm. coming together, overlapping, trying to one is trying to um, come into power, and the yes. other one has to let go of yes power or influence. Very right? good way to describe that. So what we have here, I think, is particularly um, challenging in oh, yeah. that we have Aries, that fire, that cardinal fire sign mm-hmm. that's the beginning of the zodiac, like we've talked about, right. that is having to give up uh-huh. influence and hand that off to Taurus, which is a fixed earth energy. Rough. And I... As an Aries rising, <laughs> um, I think <laughs> um, I think Aries has a really hard time with this. Yeah, of course, because he's like, I'm giving up what? Yeah, yeah, of to, course. To who? To who? And how? And I'm how am I supposed to do this? Yeah, absolutely. yeah, and why? So I feel like there's a power dynamic mm-hmm. in this cusp, and I think it shows itself in the people who are um, born in this cusp period. Right. And interesting that you say all that about power because it is the cusp of power. Correct. Yeah. Which can be looked at in a variety of different ways, right? Cusp Mm -hmm. of power. It's like 
power struggle, but also mm-hmm. like powerful. Exactly. And all of these things around what this potentially can be with power. Yes, exactly. Um, I think so. Oh my gosh, there's like so many things to say actually about this. One thing is along with this power struggle or this perhaps powerful energy, I think this cusp tends to have very dominant, yeah. very forceful, because what you're getting, again, is the end of that Aries fire, mm-hmm. which is, I think, not letting go easily. Mm-hmm. But then you have the beginning of this Taurus earth, which is also very strong. And I right. think it's it's also trying to grab it. Mm-hmm. It's not like, oh, sure, I'll just... Yeah. kick it till you bring it over here, you know, like <laughs> right. that. So I just feel like both sides are coming in strong, even though it's the end of Aries, it's not yeah. waning. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a lot of dominance from both of those, um, signs. Yes. Which is not true in every cuss. Absolutely not true in every cuss. No. The other reasons why there's challenges with other ones it's for the opposite reason. This is mm-hmm. like, yes, it's like, or, and you were talking about this, maybe on the Aries, um, mm-hmm. new sign who Aries episode about, um, the, uh, Aries being a ram yes, and Taurus being a bull. Yes. And then if like, you think about this like cusp period, it's almost like them mm-hmm. like locking, wait, do bulls have horns? Uh, yeah. Okay. Locking horns. <laughs> yeah. They do. They right? do. Yeah. They're called horns. Uh, yeah, I think so. Horns. Someone in Texas can answer that and tell us. They call them longhorns or something. Yes, That's I know. Thing. I'm just saying. It's like a steakhouse, isn't it? Like a long Probably, horn. yes. This is how we know about animals. <laughs> They're like, have them. Okay. I know. They're locking. Well, I don't even also, know. Also, I don't eat cows, just for the record. <laughs> or rams. <laughs> well, no, I know. Wait, what is a ram? It's what like is a it? sheep. It's like a Oh, it's a sheep. Yeah, but it's like the male one with the horns. That's not a thing you eat. Some people might. Some people do. Yeah. Why am I getting so off? Anyway, let's not. Um Anyway, <laughs> the two of them, that's how I imagine it. It's like them like kind of butting heads. Why didn't I just say that? Butting mm-hmm, heads. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? Yes. No, exactly. And, and I like think that pushing and pushing. Yes. Yeah. And like, you know, obviously because you know, time and the wheel moves forwards. Um, Aries has to lose this battle, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Aries has to give up that power. Mm-hmm. And so the Taurus, I feel like, really just does come in very, very strong and mm-hmm. ultimately ends up, you know, taking over. Yeah. Yeah, like pulling it. Yeah. Yes. Like you said, like grabbing it. Yeah, definitely. It's a lot. It's an interesting little, little fun little cocktail we have here. With well, the two. and I think with that headbutting that you were just talking about yeah. is that these uh, this cusp period has a lot of patience, oh. and it's this like I will stall you out on this battle. Like mm-hmm. I will push longer and harder than you, <laughs> and you will give up. That sounds about right. And so I feel like, yeah, there's like this determination, but there can be this weird calculated patience where it's like, I got all the time in the world. I'll wait for you to give up. Like, I'm just going to keep being right here. And like you will eventually Mm because it can't last forever. So Mm -hmm. knock yourself out. No, exactly. How funny. Exactly. Interesting. And so also going back to the Zodiac wheel, as we've talked about, um, so we're increasing in complexity right. as we go around the wheel. So right. like we talked about in Aries, that's like the baby, right? The baby. So with Taurus being the second sign and then this cusp period being that transition, I feel like it's like a kindergartner. Oh, geez. So you have this Oof. little kid, never went to school, is not socialized, oh. is dropped off at school, and is like trying to figure it out, right? Oh. And still very... Fairly self-centered, but also recognizing like, oh, there's like other stuff in the world Mm -hmm. and I have to figure out how to fit into this and how to still exert my power here. Yeah. And Um, adapt. But also adapt. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're not at the like wise, sage, old age yet. No. But we're definitely at this level. And I don't know if you've ever met a five-year-old. Yes. They know a lot. Uh Uh-huh. They want to say a lot. And they talk a lot. Um, Obviously. Can vary. Okay, we'll just put that out there. But, of course. And they want to know everything. Oh, yeah. And they will ask you anything. Yeah. 
no filter. No. Will point out anything. They also <clears throat> enjoy the heck out of stuff. Oh, yes. They're having a great time. They're having a great time. They All love the time. it. They love it. Everything's like amazing and mm-hmm. like astounding and a miracle and a joy. And that's actually kind of cute. Yes. No, and I think that also it brings in that Taurus, uh-huh. like sensual, yeah. physical kind Luxuriating. of. Luxuriating. Well, and not even in a fancy way, no, no, just no. in the way of like, I'm going to run in circles in this field, ah, you know, and yeah. they're just doing it's great. that. It's super fun. Oh, that's what we were doing outside, <laughs> practically. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we were. Mm. I know. It's amazing how even when we're like, eh, eh, we just still like pull in all the energy of whatever it is we're talking about. I know, and we don't even know. (laughs) Like, I didn't know that's what we were doing or why, but now I'm like, oh, we were doing that. So crazy. Witch club. Mm, You should have like a little, you know, those like little, um, like the buttons from like that commercial that's like the Office Max commercial where it's like the easy button. We need like a dumb witch button yes, or like when we have those cute. like epiphany moments and it just like I don't know says a thing yeah yeah it could say yeah like you just did down witch club yeah exactly yeah. like a little jingle yeah it's cute I know it's cute we should get jobs writing jingles too we after really our should. DJ career ends. that's right oh yeah I can't, um, can't forget about that okay so what are some of the other things that we see with <laughs> this um fire and earth combination so one mm-hmm. of them I think people and as we always talk about, there's skillful and unskillful versions. Yeah. There's evolved and unevolved versions. And mm-hmm. sometimes it's the same person. At some time, they're less evolved, yeah. and then they become more evolved, right? Right. Um, but I think, so you can either see that fire, those mm-hmm. passions mm-hmm. that they have, can be frustrated. Yeah. They can get in their own way of expressing that, because that earth energy is coming in. Um, or you can also see someone having a very balanced and grounded path yeah. for their fiery kind of passions to go down. Absolutely. Because I think um, one of the really great things that it can be is that it has that that Aries, cardinal, forward, yes, creative, passionate energy. But Taurus is the thing that brings the organization, the planning, the, the practicality. focus, the practicality, right? Mm-hmm. So it takes those great ideas and it actually gives it, like you said, a path forward and a way to carry them out. Yeah. And I think if, you know, you are in this cusp and you do find yourself in that first category of like feeling really passionate and maybe having a lot of that cardinal spark and yeah. having that sort of classic cardinal energy problem of starting things and not finishing them, just remind yourself you can draw on this Taurus energy. Yeah. You actually have it quite accessible to you. Yeah, you have that too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, that's that's very powerful. Yes. Yeah, love that. I think also because there's this fire-earth um, mm-hmm. combination trying to happen, mm-hmm. there's clearly a lacking of mm-hmm. water and yeah. air. Yeah. Which is why I think you can see these folks being especially verbally insensitive. Mm -hmm. Very much so. (laughs) Yes, verbally insensitive, very opinionated about those things. Yes. And, yeah, can be also stubborn about looking at that within themselves and accepting it within themselves. And maybe a little bit kind of pushy about those ideas onto other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. So we always want to take a look at, I mean, this is throughout your entire chart, um, not just in your, you know, sun or, or one single placement. Sure. You want to look at like if you have mm-hmm. a lack of any of the elements mm-hmm. or if you have like a lot of one of them and you want to kind of try to fill in some of those gaps because like we've talked about too, you can always, whether you're in this cusp or any cusp at all, you can always know about and draw any energies to you. Yes. So recognizing maybe where you have gaps or where you have opportunities for growth. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love that. <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> opportunities. Yes. yes. Um, I feel like that was a very Taurus thing to say. Yeah. Totally. Opportunities for growth. <laughs> yes. Get you on the path. Get you growing. That's right. Yeah. yeah um, it's not a drawback or, you know. I mean, it can be. Anything. It can be it can like be. an Achilles heel if it you let it be. But if you become yeah. aware and you use, you know, your like critical thinking essentially to decide like what do you do if you're having you know if you're struggling with 
being like emotionally insensitive. Yeah, yeah. It requires a little bit or more. Or as an example, yeah. you know? No, yeah. It just, yeah, it requires just like it re- requires for anybody else, but maybe particularly here, just more introspection. You know, just, just. Yes. Go within, think about how you're saying things, how you're, you know, projecting things out. Look at how people are reacting to you. Yeah. And Consider kinda, it. Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> and kind of like believe that if several people tell you like, that you hurt their feelings, maybe mm-hmm. believe that, oh, maybe I am inadvertently hurting people's feelings mm-hmm. and I should take a look at that rather than just get that like bullish kind of defensiveness of yes. like, no, I didn't, or well, I didn't mean to. And you know, that, that wasn't type my of intent. Thing. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. yes, exactly. Yeah. So I think that is good advice yes. for this um, cusp period. I think right. other good advice for this cusp period is to just allow things to happen mm-hmm. and not try to, you know, force or make everything happen Mm -hmm. in that kind of dominant powerful like look you got the spark you got the fire you want to carry it through with that you know that earth that fixed energy let someone else do something Mm -hmm. like sit down yeah it's okay have a seat yeah exactly yeah because I think also with the Taurus energy like it pulls in that like a coupled with the Aries energy but I feel like um especially with that added Taurus, it's like, I have to do this. And if I don't mm-hmm. do this, then no one's going to. And like, yeah, it has to be do. done this way. And like, if I don't do it this way, no one else is going to know how to do it this way. And this way is the right way. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you don't have to do that. You can let go of that sometimes mm-hmm. and recognize that maybe not everybody sees it that way too. So, and that's okay. Definitely. <laughs> it's yes. really okay. I feel like there's some hard lessons I know. Well, to be had in this cusp. I mean, if it's a cusp of power, then there's obviously going to be hard lessons because if you're talking around Mm -hmm. the concept of power, it's just such a loaded concept. It's a loaded word. There's Mm -hmm. so much within that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, That the power construct and why you have it and why you want it and what you want to do with it. And yes, what you should be doing with it maybe Uh versus... um, So I think this is kind of bringing to my mind, there's some disturbing... um, historical figures whose birthdays are all within this cusp period. Oof. So, I even hate to say these things, but it's My true. Gosh, I want to know. So we have Adolf Hitler. Oh, Jesus. We have um, Napoleon. Oh, my God. And we have um, Vladimir Lenin. <gasps> so these are like very powerful, Just I would say, sort of dictators. Um, despots. Right? Despots is a good one. Yes. So this is obviously, those are examples of this cusp of power gone completely, I would say, wrong. Yes. And out of control. Yeah. And it is like a cautionary tale in that sense. Absolutely. Of like, you know, you really need to take a look at how you're using power Mm -hmm. if Mm -hmm. you have it. And if you don't have it, why are, are you seeking it and why are you seeking it? Yeah, and is that your main focus? And is that the thing you're really trying to amass and to... And is it power at all costs? Yes, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yes, I know. So that was like shocking. So, But there are other people born in this cusp, period. Um, yeah, there's one. There's one. I mostly like have like kind of left that to you. But I, when I was like doing my research, I came across one. And I thought this was just kind of interesting. It's more positive. So. Okay. No, I have a couple others that oh, are good, positive good. too. You can, yeah, that's fine. If oh, no, I was just going to say, like, William Shakespeare's traditional oh. birthday is within this cusp period, which, See. yes, I think really sort of starts to show um, how this fire mm-hmm. with this determined, yes. like, focus um, starts to really be, like, done in the best way. It's incredible. Yes. Also, Charlotte Bronte. Aww. Another author. Lovely. I really love that. Yes, I know. And I feel like as a woman at the time that she was alive and, you know, writing and, you know, women were not given power and not given any status and really not even allowed to write. And, you know, she also has her sisters who were also, you know, mm-hmm. writing. And so I just feel like it kind of also shows how that really determined kind of like I am going to do this because I have this passion this creativity like this spark within mm-hmm. me so. absolutely and like even just like her the concepts that she was focused on and writing about too had a lot to do with like 
power differential and yes, dynamic and, and pointing that stuff out. Yes, very much. Oh, yes. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I feel like, okay, those were more positive ones. I mean, there's also yeah. like Barbara Streisand. Ooh, that's fascinating. And Jessica Lang. I don't know. I love, I love her. her. I really, really love her. She's one of my favorite actresses. Oh, so. yeah. She's amazing. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. So I want to hear the one that you Oh, I, the one oh, I saw like a few, but the one that stuck out to me was Kate Hudson. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why it did, because when I, at first when I saw that, I was like, hmm, that doesn't really make sense to me. And then I started kind of thinking about it. Obviously I don't know this person. Okay. But I started thinking about her like vibe and everything and kind of like what we do know from what we see. And I was like, no, it actually makes sense. Like she is super dynamic and she very much is her own person Mm -hmm. like her own self and like aside from all the nepotism and her being Goldie Hawn's daughter whatever why we know her is not what I'm talking about here we just do okay and she very much is like and she's like very much embodies that like life of the party um vibe which I think this cusp I feel like has that too because like Taurus is really can they love the good life Horses love that, and I feel like Aries love attention, and they don't mind mm. being the center of it. And so I feel like that's an aspect that's kind of fun about them too. Yeah, no, I think you're right, and I think <clears throat> I think cusps more so even than sort of like a pure mm-hmm. sign, you know, times um, really can vary quite widely. Oh yes, because these combinations can happen in different ways, and it's not just like oh, if you're born at the beginning of the cusp period, or the end of the cusp period, sure. you're gonna have more Aries or more Taurus. You know, it's not even that. It's mm-hmm. just kind of this mixture, and all your other placements and all that other good stuff. Of course, yeah. But I just feel like there's, you know, so much variation mm-hmm. that happens in these periods. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But you know, just maybe like, just beware of this one for some reason. Yes, <laughs> it does seem to be very like fraught and like precarious, <laughs> uh-huh, you know. Uh-huh. And I think if 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 you're if you're that person or someone you know is that person, um, also be gentle with them because I think that's a lot, and it's a lot to be like faced with this kind of legacy, you know. Very much so, and it's you know what an opportunity though, like to go back to what you were saying, like if this is you, like. Yeah, certainly some of the people you mentioned, like, horrific, you know, evil people. But, like, okay, but incredible in terms of, like, the scope. So just yes. consider, like, that you, I mean, the amount of, like, influence that you actually can have. And if you yes. point that towards something positive and something good, and that's not to say, like, you have to change the world. Like, you're changing the world just by being who you are, and that's an amazing thing. Mm-hmm. But imagine, like, what a great kind of light and, like, you know, beacon you can be for other people because – you are the cusp of power. You're strong enough to be that. And mm-hmm. that can be like an incredible thing. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. I know. So, okay. How are we feeling now I don't know. that I we are like, finished? Yeah, we turned it around. I feel, I like, feel like we turned it around too. Yeah. I feel like, you know. I feel powerful. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know. Why? I feel like we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this cusp. I have none of these placements. No. I but back to your point, you can pull in that energy. And um, I just did that. Definitely. Mm-hmm. That's what we do here on Dumb Witch Club. That's what we do. That's what we do. <laughs> so next time you're asking what the cusp, tune in here. We will tell you. And until next time. Stay witchy, friends. And stay dumb. <laughs> dumb Witch Club is written and produced by us, Ashley Sidner. And Jackie Gerard at the Dumb Witch Clubhouse in Orange County, California. Produced and edited by Matt Heinemeyer. Creative Director and Culture Consultant, Violet Turner. Original Music by Ashley Sidner. And look us up on all your favorite social media platforms, including Patreon. Until next time, stay witchy, friends. (laughs) And stay dumb. (laughs)